Hi, dear students. In, th in this video, you're going to see solutions about um, IXL 7th grade math S4 write and solve equations that represent diagrams. So let me read the first question. Write an equation that says the length of the green line is equal to the length of the black line. So you see the length of the green line is 8 and the length of the black line T and 5. So first of all, let me write the equation here. The length of the green line, it's going to be equal to the length of the black line. The length, the length of the black line. So the green line, as you can see, 8. It is 8. So I'm going to write 8 is equal to. So I have t and I have 5 here. OK, so that's going to be actually t plus 5. OK, I'm going to write t plus 5. So this is going to be the answer to this example. All right, let's write 8 is equal to t plus 5. And let's submit. And let's look at the next example. I'm going to clear all drawings first. And then, so in this example, it says write an equation that says that the length of the green line is equal to the length of the black line. So it's almost the same question. It's a similar question. The length of the green line is 22 is equal to the length of the black line. So that's going to be P, I'm sorry, B plus 6, B plus 6. So I'm going to write 22 is equal to B plus 6. 22 is equal to B plus 6. OK, so let me first clear. And then it's almost the same question. The length of the green line is equal to the length of the blank line. So that's going to be W plus 19. You see, W plus 19. So let's type 24 is equal to W plus 19. OK. And let me clear. So the length of the green line is equal to the length of the black line. The black line is C plus 4. C plus 4 is equal to the green line 8. We can also write this way, no problem. You can also write 8 is equal to C plus 4, whichever you want. Both of them have the same meaning. All right, so let's write C plus 4 is equal to 8. This is the equation that we are going to use. And now we have like terms in this question. We have like terms. So you see, I have y and I have another y. So the length of the green line is 12. And the length of the green line is equal to the length of the black line. So I have y plus y, y plus y. So as you can see, these are the like terms. So that means I can just add these uh, add these expressions. If I have like two y's here, I'm going to write two y. It means two times y. That means I have two y's on the right hand side and 12 on the left. Or you can also write two y is equal to 12. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the same. So 12 is equal to two y will be the equation. And now we have this question. All right, so the length of the green line is 16. And the green line is equal to the black line. They have the equal length. So I have n and another n. So I have two n's. n plus n will be 2n and 16 on the left. So the answer is going to be 16 is equal to 2n. 
16 is equal to 2n will be the answer. Okay, so now here the, the equation and also the solution uh, they want us to find. Okay, so first of all, let me clear this. Okay, so the length of the green line is equal to the length of the black line. So the length of the green line is 25. Actually, let me write here length. Let me write length of green is equal to length of black. So um, 25 is going to be equal to u plus 4. u plus 4. This is going to be the equation. Let's write the equation then. So let me write the equation first. 25 is equal to u plus 4. We have to find the value of u. Okay. So in order to find the value of u. So you see, actually, I'm just cutting this part out. You see, this is going to be the same as this one. Both of them have the same length. So this is going to be 4. So I'm just subtracting 4 from 25. You see, the rest of the part will be 25 minus 4. You see, because u plus 4 is equal to 25, I can just subtract 4 from both sides in order to get the value of u. So here, positive 4 and negative 4 will be canceled out. And u is just going to be, u will be 25 minus 4, which is 21. So u will be 21. Let's just type that here. 21 is the answer. And 25 is equal to u plus 4 is the equation. Let me clear this first. Okay, so first of all, let me read the question. Write an equation that says that the length of the green line is equal to the length of the black line. Okay, the length of the green line is 35. That is equal to the length of the black line, which is S plus 25, right? S plus 25. S plus 25. This is going to be the equation. So let me write the equation. 35 is equal to s plus 25. And we are trying to find the value of s here. We're going to find the value of s. So let me just clear this. And OK, so, so you see, if I just cut the green line out here, right over here, this is going to be just like this, right? This is going to be 25. So, but the entire length is 35. So 25 plus what is 35? If you just subtract 25 from 35, that's going to be 10, right? So this is going to be 10. And that's going to be S. So S is going to be 10, actually. Because we are actually subtracting 25 from both sides in order to get the S. So on the right-hand side, Positive 25 and negative 25 will be canceled out. It's going to be S. 35 minus 25 is just going to be 10. Okay, so S is equal to 10 will be the answer to this question. S is equal to 10. And one more. Let's do one more. Let me clear this. Okay, write an equation that says that the green, the length of the green line is equal to the, the length of the black line. 32, the length of the green line, that's going to be equal to the length of the black line. So that's going to be R plus 2R plus R. R plus 2R plus R. So how many R's do we have here? I have two R's here. And I have another R, so that's going to be together 3R, okay? This is going to be 3R. 
and three R plus another R. So that's gonna be four R, four R is equal to 32, four R is equal to 32. So if I just divide this 32 into four, four sections, so let me just do that. Okay, so you see, this is R, this is another R, we have this one, two R, but I'm gonna divide that also into two parts, two equal parts. So as you can see, I have R, 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 and R. So 32 is equal to four R. How can I find the, the value of R here? I need to divide the 32 by four to get the value of R, okay? I'm dividing this number by the coefficient of this number to get the value of this expression or this uh, variable. So I'm gonna divide 32 by four to get the value of R. That means R is equal to eight. Okay, so first of all, let's write the equation. Let me write the equation. 32 is equal, to, it says combine like terms. Did you see in the question? It says combine like terms. So that means I'm combining like terms here. R plus two, R plus R will be four R. 32 is equal to four R, four times R. And the value of R will be equal to eight. All right, so this is the last example that we're gonna do for this video. I have the green line is 45 as you can see. And the black line is H. It has two sections, H and 8H. H and 8H. So what is the number of total H's here? 8H here and then one more H. That's gonna be eight plus one will be nine, right? So nine H will be equal to 45. That means I'm just dividing this into nine parts. So all the parts have the same length. That means I'm gonna divide 45 by nine to get the value of H, okay? Just divide 45 by nine. 45 divided by nine will be five, right? That's gonna be the value of H. So here, H is equal to 45 divided by nine. Okay, we divide this number by this coefficient to get the value of H because this is nine times H is equal to 45. Nine times what is equal to 45? Nine times five is equal to 45. Okay, H is equal to five. So. Let's just write these numbers. First of all, let's write the equation 45 is equal to nine H and H is equal to five will be the answer.